Wow, just wow is all I can say. This monastery behind me was built in 1488 by Stefan the Great in honor of one of his many victories over the Ottoman Empire. Mm -hmm. It was then painted in 1547 and all of the exterior paint we're looking at is original, nearly 500 years old. And I absolutely love the fact that none of the paint has been touched up or redone. Right. So there's large sections of the outside that are faded off and worn and it really does a nice job to highlight the beauty of what's left. Also love that there's a huge fence around it and no tourists can go close to it. They've done a really good job of preserving it. Mm -hmm. No vandalism, no graffiti, no modern paint. Literally 500 years old, yeah. almost. All yeah. of this artwork we're looking at, the blue is somehow still vibrant. Right. It's almost like a miracle. It's known as Voronets Blue. Yeah. after Voronets Monastery in Voronets Village here. Um, just incredible. Obviously the lower section is a little bit more faded off than the higher section. I think this is because of this pretty unique roof structure. It's overhanging a good four or five meters, doing a great job of protecting all of the incredible artwork. The back side is actually the most uh, well-known side. It's known as the Day of Last Judgment. So I don't want to speculate too much what's happening here. Yvonne and I mm -hmm. can sort of tell some of the story, but the artwork is just incredible. Obviously, it's the day of judgment, the day of reckoning, where you would uh, see if you qualify for heaven or if you're banished to hell. It looks like hell is in the bottom right. It looks like there's sort of a division from left and right, the Christians and Catholics on the left, and then the, maybe the Ottoman Empire on the right. Mm -hmm. um, don't want to speculate too much. Obviously, a painting like that would be containing literally an essay of words none of the images there are just painted for no reason it's really telling a beautiful story um just mesmerizing to look at and to think it's almost 500 years old mm -hmm. it's really really yeah. powerful absolutely it's must visit must visit in romania many many winters yeah think of it like nearly 500 winters yeah. um, all right. and it's all original and actually we can go inside i'm not sure how much we can film inside but um must visit. Okay. Absolutely speechless. Let's go inside uh, Voronets Monastery. Let's go. Okay guys, so unfortunately, absolutely no cameras allowed inside, which is understandable. What I can tell you is the interior painting, all of the walls are painted in the same style, with the same vibrant blue, mm -hmm. except it's even better preserved because there's no weather on it. Right. So the blue is like popping off the walls and I really love how it's sort of sequential and in a story similar to the outside where you can follow left to right and follow the story. I almost want to describe it as comic book style. Seems like it's not mm. profound enough a statement for such a beautiful building but it is sort of uh, sequentially placed similar to the outside. Um, absolutely great, incredible. Uh, we'll say five stars the job they've done to preserve it. Right, no graffiti, right. no new paint, just like it was nearly yeah. 500 years ago. Must visit. It's very impressive. Very impressive. Absolute must visit. Yes. Um, I will say our plan today is to make it to Burb. Yeah. So there are quite a few painted monasteries. I believe this is the best intact one. Right. Maybe we'll make a few more pit stops at some other monasteries. Um, it does look like it's going to rain, yeah. so we're not sure what we're going to get up to today. Uh, but eventually we'll, we will be in Burb and what a good start to the day. Mm -hmm. Uh, Voronets Monastery, absolute must visit. Right. Must visit. Yes. Just incredible. Beautiful. Anyway, next stop we'll jump back to the car and we'll uh, start the road trip. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, check it out guys. There's a little market right out front of the monastery. Unfortunately, I think a lot of the shops are closing from the rain, but yeah. uh, what you got? This area also famous for their oh. painted egg which is normally is for Easter. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. intricate. And these are, oh yeah, real eggs, real eggs. Real eggs. Yeah. Wow, very intricate, very and, beautiful. Uh, this one is probably, it's a bigger egg. I don't know what type of egg. Ah, uh, whoa, maybe ostrich, yeah. it looks huge. Yeah, maybe. Really, really intricate handwork. Yeah. Maybe we can buy you something, Ivana, or buy something. Ooh, maybe we can buy a traditional shirt for you, Ivana, if we can find one. Oh, I'm in the mood to spend some money. That oh, uh, so that monastery was so great. I'm in the mood. Whoa. It's a dress. It's really something. 
Okay, let's let's browse, Ivana. Let's browse. The thing is this, Ivana. Um, could you or would you wear the Romanian traditional shirt outside of Romania? Yeah, I would. It seems like you could. Yeah. It seems like you could wear uh, jeans and jeans this sort of that. white with the yeah. red uh, flowers or diamonds, whatever they are. Um, with the embroidery. Embroidery. Nice, mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like buying a, a souvenir if you can't wear it, yes, you know? that's true. Uh, this is why we quite often buy football jerseys or soccer jerseys or cricket yeah. or whatever. Yes. Um, but something like this, Ivana, with the, they have this sort of pattern on it where they have these like rhombus or diamond shapes. Uh, no, no, this beautiful. might be for children, but... Um, oh, she's doing it. It's okay if I make a video? Wow, so nice. This is for tables. Oh, tablecloth by hand. Good yeah. job. This is real skill. Good job. And nice little shop. Maybe you can buy one from here, Ivana. Uh, all by hand. All by hand. Yeah. Whoa. Homemade. That's really something. Um, by hand, the price is this much. Oof. Maybe we can't afford by hand, Ivana. Maybe by machine. Maybe by machine we can. This is the beautiful. one I like the most, the red Ivana. Wow, I like the blue. Maybe maybe like we just spend it, babe. It. It's so nice. It's uh, it's so nice though. Wow, amazing store. Good job, bravo, <laughs> super. <laughs> Again, uh, the and more time. eggs, Thank and you. more eggs. I'm sure she also. I think hand painted. <laughs> hand painted. Yeah. She's only got two hundred in stock. Wow, and these are one duck eggs. Yeah. Bigger. Oh yeah. Wow, super. Bravo. Thank you. Multimask. I really prefer the um, handmade one, but it's just too much for us. Yes, about 800 to 1500 Ron, yeah. yeah. It's a lot for us, but so <laughs> nice to wear. Maybe that's we can right. find one that's half of that or less. <laughs> we'll keep looking because so look nice. at this. It's a nice shop. It's a nice little market. Wow. I wish I have space in my backpack. Yeah. This is where you need infinite backpack space. Even this thing, so amazing. Look at this little guy. And he's in the toilet. He's in the toilet. He's in the... <laughs> so funny. They're also hand painted. I think so. Look how nice it is. Oh, maybe not. Is it, could that be hand painted? It's like perfect. Yeah, I think so. It looks the paint or they put uh, some kind of trick to make it. Wow, so kind of perfect and so symmetrical and trippy, no? Yeah. So nice. This is where you need infinite backpack space. <laughs> you need a video game backpack where you can just put stuff in there all day. I think that's uh, the mask they usually wear Ooh, during Easter yes. or Christmas. This is what the Dodo Explorers yeah. were telling us, what Mike was telling us. Look at this, made from goat. Yeah, yeah, this is the goat for Christmas celebration. Goat on a stick. <laughs> so unique. Right. So interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I wish I could see it for... Uh, for real. For real. Yeah. But I think we'll be... We have to leave <laughs> before Visa Christmas. expired. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. The discussion has begun. Ivana is into the blue... Yeah. I like blue better. I like the blue. I like the red a lot better. I like the, I like the white and red. And I'm kind of into the yellow. Although oh, Ivana is not into it. The yellow is quite bright. Mm. Also, there seems to be two different styles. You got the short sleeve style, maybe summer and maybe winter. Yeah. So which one do you prefer? This one is thicker. Up to you. I Take like your time. Too. Ooh, this one is nice. Right? Yeah, I'm into that one. If you're into that one. You have this one. Please, oh, thank you. Oh. Blue. Multi mask. Oh, only one. Do you like? Mm. Or uh, the summertime better. I think with your skin color and your hair dye, the bright yellow is going to be. Bright yellow? This whole bright yellow one. Okay. Let's try, Ivana. Let's try, let's try. <laughs> We're going to make him take all the that's clothes. That's okay, that's okay. As long as you buy one, it's worth this time. You like? I like. It's so bright to me. Nice, okay. Ivana. What do you think? Let's be clear. I don't know anything about fashion. <laughs> okay, yeah. Sold. I like it. Bright yellow. Wow. Yeah, nice. You put some black leggings. You look like a million bucks, man. Okay, cool. Are you this sold one? or are you, you like only, this one you're only half or the white? 
and blue. I prefer the yellow. Okay. I like bright colors. Okay, this one. Sold. Yeah. High five. Yeah. Sold. <laughs> Good purchase. These are the kind of things I have no problem spending money on. Yeah. This is a lifetime souvenir and uh, you'll see it in videos to come, guys. Oh, you'll yeah. You'll see it in future videos, the bright yellow shirt. I will wear awesome. it. Look at this. Woo! Looks nice, Ivana. Yeah, I think it fits too. I think All it right. looks like awesome. Great. <laughs> really Very great. Nice. I'm happy with that. Absolutely worth it. Ah. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. We go. Yes. Multimask. Uh, I think he was selling a horse ride. Yeah. Or I should say a carriage ride. Yeah. Nice guy. Okay, so next stop, we're going to drive to Burb. It is going to rain, yeah. it looks like, all day. It's raining pretty good right now. So it looks like a four-hour drive to Burb. We might not have too much footage. It could just be out the rainy window the whole time. Yeah. But uh, we'll show you where we're staying in Burb. And uh, so far, work. good day. That monastery, must visit. <laughs> must visit. All right, next stop, Burb. Feeling steam, driving okay? Driving okay. We made it out of the fog. So now we got about maybe one and a half hours left towards Brent. Don't take both lanes, take one lane only. Come on, it's not fair. Tuck back in here to let this guy go past. Oh, more? Wow. Damn. That is a lot of cows. Or like a pendulum, you know? Tick it's like, it's like hypnotic. Tick tock. Yeah. Tick tock. Gotta, gotta slap out of it. <laughs> but right. I think we're almost there. Almost there. I think about 20 minutes away. And it's like nothing yes. around us right now. Only oh, yeah. the grass, the hill. We are really in uh, you know where. <laughs> you know where. You know where. Almost where? there, guys. All right, welcome to Veronica's guest house, everybody. This is exactly the kind of accommodation we love. Family owned, very homey, and I will say the best welcome drinks we've had so far. The bottles included. Check this bottle out. Amazing. Wow. Veronica's guest house, magically inside the bottle. It's like the gate we entered from. Very, very yeah. nice. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. We will be putting on these costumes and doing a photo shoot and showing you all around Veronica's mm -hmm. guest house. But for now, we're pretty much Tired. sleeping. Yeah. So maybe we'll qu quickly show you our room and then we'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Right. It should be a great day. We made it here. We're loving this place already. Uh, I will say Norok, everybody. Norok! <laughs> and um, tomorrow we've got a photo shoot. What could be better than that? <laughs> 
cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you guys tomorrow.